know what is wrong with people, y'all. You know, like, I know I am a very beautiful woman. Do not be trying to hit me up because you think this is real estate with a piece of ass. It was never given that, okay? Y'all got me effed up, for real. I'm trying not to curse. Hello? I done been around the world, but I ain't never met a vibe like you. We can get gone, baby girl. We can do the dash in the cool. Dash in the cool. But we ain't worried about the world. We just five minutes. It's me and you. Straight me and you. if you're new welcome girl and if you're a return subscriber hey girl hey hey boy hey welcome back to my youtube channel y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for clicking on today's video so as you can tell by the title this is a day in the life of a real estate agent here in charlotte north carolina and Okay, hey y'all, so let's start getting dressed, but typically I would like fast forward during this part, but I just feel like vibing out with y'all. So let's, let's just like vibe out. That's fine. I understand it's probably many other than what you own. Not the only one. Trust me, I ain't dumb. But I this pay, shit. What could a hoe say? The bag's so expensive, my pussy can't get it. Body so nice, they be saying, who did me? Tell your friends this. Her, 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 her. So I am out here at this new construction site. I'm here to get some Instagram content. Um, and I confirm that I can host my home buying seminar in April but yeah I'm super excited the lady was so sweet and I have to hurry up so I have like zero direction just a direction hopefully I'm going the right, the right way I need to hurry up I have a meeting at 8 345 I need to take a picture are the lots numbered so I love real estate <laughs> this is just so fun like I seriously love my job you get to meet so many new people the people are nice for the most part you're changing people's lives you literally have so much access to so much free, valuable information. It's just amazing. And my Instagram reels have been doing pretty well. So, let's see. Okay, hey guys. So, I'm here to give you all a tour at this new construction home 
here in Charlotte, North Carolina. <sighs> It is super close to Uptown. So if you guys are interested in new construction, please hit me up. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it, guys. Wow, look at these finishes. Can you see yourself living here? Let me actually stop walking and just love the kitchen how bright it is Ooh, i cannot wait to post on my instagram and then you also get a car garage get a patio area as well Let's go upstairs. Oh, right here, you have a half bath. Love that. All right, let's go up these stairs, guys. Look at the laundry room. And then here is the bedroom. This bathroom is absolutely gorgeous. I love this shower. The walk-in closet. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay, and then you have another bath right here. So here is the bedroom. Here is the bedroom, guys. I love it. It's pretty spacious. And then on this side of the upstairs, you have another bed, another bedroom. Here's the closet space. And then you have another bathroom. Another bedroom, wow. So spacious, so much space for you to occupy and personalize here at this home. If you guys are interested in booking a consultation, let me know. I would be more than happy to help assist you with your home buying process. Yeah, I gotta stop to get gas, and this is just like so annoying. <sighs> Let me get my pepper spray. I don't wanna play that shit. So this is actually the second gas station that I stopped at because the first time when I pulled up to the other gas station, it was like a truck full of men and they all had like face tats and I was just like, oh hell no, like I, I'm gonna just go somewhere else. That's why it's important as women that we just always pay attention to our surroundings because you just never know who be watching you. I'll be looking. I'll be looking around. I'll get you some pepper spray too. Sis. 
really crazy out here. But yeah, I'm about to go to the office now, child. Finally make it to the office. Okay, hey y'all. So right now I'm just doing a quick follow up. Um, made it to the office, clearly. <laughs> so I'm setting people up for searches right now. And I'm like, I can't even read my own handwriting sometimes. What is going on? But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Setting up some searches. And about to study some contracts. And I need to also post on Instagram and finish editing this YouTube video. That's exactly what I'm about to do. And I need to also make a few phone calls just checking in with people uh, to find more business. So that's what I'm about to be doing. Oh yeah, I meant to actually call, make some phone calls. So I just plan to work all day today. Clearly, I'm just working all day. I have two buyer consultations that I need to prepare for. Yeah. Hopefully my hair does not look crazy, but hey y'all. So I am here at Gaiko, Gaku. Um, it's a Japanese barbecue place. Me and Marissa, we're here for lunch. Let me take a picture. Y'all, I swear I be trying to TikTok, Instagram, real, vlog, all, do all this stuff at the same time, y'all. Is my phone backwards? Is my phone upside down? Y'all, I be trying to do everything. Literally. Capture all the moments, babe. I am like really in my content creator bag. I ain't playing this year. Okay, let me get the menu. But I swear like whenever you start creating content and you like get in that mode, it does really get easier. I promise you y'all yeah, it does. Oh, I don't, my nail's not done. It feels so weird not having my nails done, like just wearing my natural nails, because I have not did this in like, honestly, I can't even remember the last time I've worn just like my natural nails. Thank you so much. Oh, but yeah, y'all, so, are you ready to say hey to the people? Hell no. Marissa's camera shot, y'all. She gonna come to the camera one day. <laughs> and gonna be like, who is this girl? <laughs> some hand sanitizer. Yeah, we over here stuffing our face. Those noodles are good. It, was, it had to be like that cardio I did. I love it. I don't know what we've been doing in the gym, but girl, mm -hmm. listen, I'm not gonna say too much, but just know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so yeah. much. Ooh. <laughs> mm. This is so good. When I want to stuff my face, you look nice. Mm, yeah. 
Headed to the office, babes. Y'all, I need to get a car mount. I need to put some lip gloss on, but I'm about to eat. I'm about to devour this Chick Fil A. Like, it does not stand a chance. It doesn't. Happy Friday, guys! Woo! We made it through another week. Praise the Lord! Absolutely, I sure can pull up. Hi. Here, he'll grab you up here. Okay. Hello, how are you today? I am wonderful. How are you doing? Eric, I'm doing well. Can Great. I get into the order? Elisa, A L I S A. All right, Elisa, go ahead and order. I would like a spicy chicken sandwich, please. You want the meal or just the? The meal. The meal. Yes. Pickles okay on it? Yes, that's fine. Can you drink. A sweet tea, please, with two Polynesian sauces. Got it. Want a medium or a large meal? A uh, medium's fine. Okay. That'll complete your order? Yes. All right. Spicy sandwich meal with a sweet tea and Polynesian sauce. It's going to be $9.69. Okay. And I have Apple Pay. And you can tap on my screen or. Okay. Yeah, hover it over like that. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, let me pull up the wallet. Sorry. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to use that card. Hold on. One sec. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Okay. There it goes. I heard it, Lisa. Thank All you. Right, yeah, I'm around the corner. Repeat your order, okay? Perfect. Thank you so much. My pleasure. You too. Yeah. Okay. So I have a one o'clock at the office. So pretty much, it's an agent spotlight. Um, her name is Heather Skinner. She's like killing it. She farms her business through like events. Hold on. What's going on? In the world. I'm like really zoomed in right now. This is exactly why I need to get a car mount, but oh, okay. This is like becoming a little chaotic. But anyways, yeah, like I was saying y'all, I am headed to the office. Um, yeah, I'm headed to the office for a one o'clock presentation. Basically it's an Asian spotlight. The Asian name is Heather Skinner. She's like killing it. She apparently hosts like really nice events for people within her sphere. Um, so basically that's like people that she knows. And I am always willing to learn. Um, as the saying goes, there are several ways to skin a cat. So yeah, and I feel like I'm now at the point now in my journey where I'm ready to get out there and host the events, you know, like I'm ready. And I, I'm planning my first event. So you guys will definitely be seeing more of me like in the process of like planning events, um, practicing the events. Like you guys are gonna see all of that. So why not just go to the event and just see like what she's doing? Cause I feel like sometimes people make things more complicated. Like I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm not like there's, Girl, what you doing? I'm not trying to be trying to hit me. Like, girl, you need to wait your turn. Sometimes it be going down this Chick-fil-A drive through Like people try to cut you off. Ugh. But anyways, like I was saying, y'all, um, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel when it comes to lead generating and getting business. Like it's people that's been doing real estate for years. So I'm literally just asking, like, what you do to grow your business? And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Like, granted, we all do things differently. Alisa, yeah. Thank you so much. You too. Um, 
but yeah like i was saying like they're like it's people that's been doing this for years like i'm just going i'm following their formula but i'm gonna just do it things like how i want to do it with my own touch and i feel like that doesn't only necessarily apply to real estate that's just in life in general like nobody can do things the way you do it because god gave us all individual talents gifts and it's up to you to really thrive in your fullest potential um and i say this all the time like guys god didn't give everybody that vision because he didn't give it to everybody he gave it to you Girl. thank you so much yes oh i love your nail color thank you have a good one thank you i'm gonna let my girl cross the street But yeah, y'all, I'm about to pull over. I'm the type of person, I pull over to eat my food. I cannot eat while driving. Like, I want to enjoy this meal because I am, like, hungry. And Chick-fil-A is my guilty pleasure. Um, I try only, I try not to eat it all the time, but I at least eat Chick-fil-A at least, like, once a month. And not once a month, once a week. But I'm trying to like cut back on eating out. But I just feel like I've been busting my ass in the gym all week. I feel like I deserve a little meal from Chick-fil-A. And then I'm going to head to the office like I was telling y'all. Okay, so on today's agenda, I already had my productivity coaching meeting at 10, which went very well. I, I wasn't, I didn't vlog it, um, but I got some really great ideas from my coach and i just love that and then i've been going like back and forth talking to like my current clients so you know hopefully i'll be writing up an offer later today Ooh. later today and then you guys are in for a special 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 treat um heather as i've actually gotten to know heather over the last let's say six months and every time she tells me a story, like we were just chatting, I learned something amazing more about her. So when I tell you really you're in for a treat, you have some amazing stories. I think you're an amazing woman and businesswoman and mom and wear so many hats that I can't wait for you to share with everybody. So do you want to sit? Do you want to stand? I don't I'll care. Stand. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to, until we get tired or my heels start yes. hurting, I'm going to do a, like one of these. So I just try to stay out of the way because nobody wants to see me. They're here for you. Um, okay, so literally let's start with the basics. Who are you? Like, where'd you come from? Tell us, like, who is Heather? Okay, so Before real estate. Absolutely. Yeah. My name is Heather Skinner. I was born in Connecticut. Am I going that far back? Yeah, sure. <laughs> do it. <laughs> but I think that's important, right? Doesn't when you were born, that's the oh, 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 he wants to go deep. The same year Keller really Williams was born. Uh, yeah. I just Forty up this year, so oh, I had my fortieth birthday the week before we had family reunion, and I bought the shirt that said "Leveled Up 40. I love that. So, but truly, do you guys think that's important? Like, where we come from? I want to know. I want to know where. You know, even again, maybe you were born in another country, or like what builds Heather, who made her? So, yes, yeah, start from the beginning. Absolutely. So, I was born in Connecticut. Majority of all my family are up in Connecticut. I moved down south when I was about six years old to South Carolina. Grew up in the Conway area. When I was about 12, we moved over to Anderson, South Carolina. I actually got really involved in 4-H and horses. I was going to Clemson because I was going to do all my prereqs for becoming a veterinarian. I wanted to be a veterinarian so bad, I was ready to go to University of Georgia afterwards. And go two, years in the front, two years into college, I had a child. So my plans got a little skewed. I had a friend who was going to help me out in Oklahoma and just help babysit for me so I could still work my full-time job as a veterinary uh, tech. So I moved to Oklahoma um, and got married. Got a divorce, left Oklahoma, went to Baton Rouge, and was living with a friend there, and we got a violation letter. And the violation letter said, I'm sorry, but you are not on the lease for this apartment. What? And so I went up to the office and I was like, I know I'm not on the lease. I literally am here temporarily until I find a job. 
And they're like, oh, you're looking for a job? Well, we're looking to hire a leasing consultant. I was like, I know nothing about leasing. Like, I'm looking for a vet tech job. And I started in leasing. Well, two years into leasing apartments, I actually became a property manager. And I started working in luxury apartments and I got the opportunity to start moving around the country, filling up brand new construction luxury apartments. And my favorite place I ended up in was Colorado. Um, I lived in Denver, Colorado for about five years. I loved it out there. I filled up two apartment complexes. Um, and then I got to um, one of our apartment complexes sold and filled up and I didn't have a job because they didn't have any new apartment complexes to build. So I went and found a job with the uh, Catholic Charities Archdiocese and I was- Okay, hey guys. Me and Marissa were out here touring this new construction home. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Take your time, look through them, have fun. Awesome. Okay, thank you. If you got any questions for you, please let me know. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I think, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get that home. Okay. Okay, so these two. Okay, so focus on these two, right? Oh, this He said, get all the goddamn content. <laughs> So I'm gonna get the one that. What is this one again? This is the Austin as well, but it's just an end I don't know what is wrong with people, y'all. You know, like I know I am a very beautiful woman. Do not be trying to hit me up because you think this is real estate with a piece of ass. It was never given that, okay? Y'all got me effed up for real. I'm trying not to curse. Hello. Hey. Because we're currently right here, we're, we're currently in the model, and just we only have the two buildings built, so none of this has been built yet. Okay. Yeah. And then the floor plan only have one floor plan. You need to either get it in a two bedroom version, mm -hmm. which is that version there, or you can do it with the three bedroom version, and then you see the alternate second floor. Most okay. Most of them are built this way, because right now only have a um, one two bedroom. Oh, uh, mostly two bedroom. Oh, uh, they mostly three. But it's a small bedroom, so I still say it's really three, it's really two, because this place you can only probably use it for office space. Mm -hmm. Or you can a twin bed and go in there possibly. So for the Austin floor plan, you have how many of those left? Um, that's all we're building out here. So we're awesome. currently right now, this is my available inventory. Okay. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. And I'll take your card too. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, yeah, I wanted to come out here to get some content because I like to post these on my Instagram. Okay, well, you can do one Yeah, over and you. Building right oh, oh, this isn't this building. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to the other building where I'll show you where to, um, if you want to do a two bedroom version. Okay. Yeah. Where well, it's got two masters, basically. Oh. This one bedroom is running what? This one here is for sale around 340. This is not, um, what you got, number 11? Uh huh. This is 350. Oh, okay. This is a two bed, it's closer to 360. No, this two bedroom is only 344. Oh. What's the difference? It's just, uh, the same. It's just got two full masters up there. Not any small. Just to get the third bedroom. Gotcha. The additional office uh, space, if you will. Um, no, it just gives you a bigger bedroom on the second bedroom. Okay. You'll okay. see them when you walk through them. Okay. They haven't cleaned them up yet, but they oh. didn't get them on the third day. Mm. And the major difference is upstairs on the um, second floor. So what I was telling you when you um, do it, I would do the one of the two bedroom, I would get an end unit, and then uh, the end unit is a three bedroom, they're gonna always be end units. And then uh, get one of the two bedrooms, that way you got all three versions I build out here. Oh, okay, thank you. And I'll grab you one more flyer for the, for the rest of the home. You got that? It's a slaughter gang CEO I got dick for you if I'm not working, girl If I'm busy, then fuck no You need to find you someone else to call When your bank account get low You need to find you someone
so Hey guys, so if you made it this far, I just want to thank you all so much for watching all the way through today's video. It really means a lot. You all have just been supporting me and it truly means so much from the bottom of my heart. My community is growing and that makes me so happy. And if there's anything far as like real estate related, if you have any questions, if you're interested in getting your real estate license, please hit me up. I'll be more than happy to be a resource for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Been around the world, but I ain't never met a vibe like you. We can get gone, baby girl. We can do the dash in the cool. Dash in the cool. But we ain't worried about the world. We just five minutes. It's me and you. Straight me and you. But we ain't worried about the haters, but they worry about